Welcome to at t Internet. This video shows the simple steps to set up your new Wi-Fi gateway. This includes downloading the setup app, locating the at t service box in your home, attaching the cables to your new Wi-Fi gateway, and activating your gateway. There are no tools or technicians needed, and the entire process will take around 15 to 20 minutes. Let's walk you through the steps and get you connected. You're probably super excited to pull everything out of the box, but let's go one step at a time. First, if you don't already have it, let's download the setup app to your smart device. You may see this called the AT&T Smart Home Manager app. The easiest way to download is to point your smartphone camera over the QR code right on your install box. After a few seconds, a notification will give you a link to open in your browser to download the Smart Home Manager app or feel free to go to att.com slash smart home manager on your smart device and download from there. Just launch the smart home manager app. If you're already registered, select the sign in button and enter your user ID and password. You may be asked to review and accept the internet terms of service before proceeding. Not registered yet? That's okay. Just select set up equipment and you'll first be asked to review and accept the internet terms of service. Then, once you activate your new gateway, you'll register your account. Here's some fun. Go ahead and tear open the install box by pulling on the tab. Notice the inside of the install box lid. We've numbered and color coded the install equipment and steps for you. Right inside your install box is an envelope with important account information. Please read and store for your records. And here's your new gateway. Notice the QR code on its side. If you have not yet registered your online account, You'll need to scan this QR code. Your Smart Home Manager app will prompt you. If you have any issues, select the QR code won't work in the setup app to manually enter the serial number on the bottom of the gateway. You'll see the Let's Set Up Your Internet screen. Just select the Get Started button. Following along with the next screen on your Smart Home Manager app, you'll see a list of items in your box. Inside the box is a network power cord We've included this extra power cable just in case it's needed later, but we'll get to this in a moment. Please note, if you subscribe to at t Phone, you'll have a phone cable in the box as well. Our next step is to find the at t service box in your home. The service box is usually installed on your wall, close to a power outlet. You may need to look behind furniture or in a closet. If you have trouble finding your at t service box, just tap the I can't find my at t service box link in the app. Your app will help direct you to where the service box is located in your home. Before we go any further, ensure your service box, power, and pond lights are both lit up green. If the power and pond lights aren't green, on your app screen, select the link labeled the service box lights aren't green for help. Your app may direct you to use the included network power cord at this point. Please follow along with the directions in the app if you do not see the power lights on your service box. Now, take your install box over close to your service box. Set your install box down and carefully remove your new gateway. Set the gateway close to your service box and place it up off the floor with the back facing toward you. You'll soon be attaching cables to the back. To ensure a strong Wi-Fi signal, it's important to clear any objects that can block the signal, like cordless phones or baby monitors. Good, now return to your install box and carefully remove the ONT cable. This is the white cable with the red ends. Follow along with the Smart Home Manager app. You'll now be asked to plug in your included ONT cable into the bottom of your service box, where you see the Ethernet or ONT port. Your service box may have a cover you need to lift open. Gently but firmly insert the cable into the port. You should hear a click when it's inserted properly. Take the loose end of the ONT cable and gently but firmly insert the plug into the ONT port on the back of your new gateway. You'll hear a click when the ONT cable is locked in correctly. Our next step is connecting the power supply to the gateway. Now get the power supply from your install kit in the tray labeled number four. Next, insert the power supply to a working outlet. And please note, the manufacturer recommends using a surge protector. Then take the loose end of the power cord and plug it into the back of the new Wi-Fi gateway. You should see a small green LED light come on when the power supply is connected correctly. If you do not see the light, on your app, select Troubleshooting Tips for help. 
When you're ready, select the Activate button on the app. Gently turn your gateway around so the front is facing forward. Do not disconnect the cables or the power cord as the gateway powers up, or you could damage the Wi-Fi gateway. At this point, the new Wi-Fi gateway is powering up and a white light should start blinking on the front. We're almost there. Your Wi-Fi gateway will automatically begin updating its software and your app will let you know the progress. Activation can take up to 10 minutes. The app will continue working even if you need to use your phone or switch applications. And now is a great time to gather some of your home Wi-Fi devices to connect to your new home network. We'll do this shortly. Great, you should now see a success message on your app and you're almost all done. The light on the front of the Wi-Fi gateway should be solid white. If you have not yet registered your account, you'll be asked to register now. Now, to wrap this up, we'll personalize your home network. First, you'll be prompted to name your home network. This is the info that Wi-Fi enabled devices will use to wirelessly access your home network. Feel free to use the default network name or enter your own customized name here. Please note, to simplify the reconnection of devices you've already connected to your former home network, you may want to customize your Wi-Fi name and password to be the exact same as your former network. Just be sure to unplug and replug or restart all of your wireless devices so they connect to the new Wi-Fi network. And check to make sure you power down older gateways and extenders. On the next screen, you'll set your network password. You can use the default password or customize your password for added security. Great job, your home network is now set up. Now select the share Wi-Fi button to invite any of your Wi-Fi enabled devices. Just follow the prompts and verify your devices can access your home network. The Smart Home Manager app goes way beyond just setting up your Wi-Fi gateway. Use it to manage and troubleshoot your home internet network, including finding any weak Wi-Fi spots, test your internet speed, use parental controls features, and more. If you have any issues with your Wi-Fi devices, select the three dot button in the upper right corner to activate the message center. Just type in connecting devices for help. And at any time in the future, you can select this three dot button in your Smart Home Manager app for home network help. Also for online help with your AT&T phone service or your Wi-Fi gateway equipment, go to att.com slash bgw320. And if you need more general help with your service or account, just head to att.com slash support. And our internet support line is available 24 seven. Just go to att.com slash support to chat with us for no charge. That's it. You're all set to enjoy your new AT&T internet service. Thanks for choosing AT&T.